following the Lord in obedience brings breakthroughs in our life. Following the Lord in obedience brings breakthroughs in our lives. Many times, you know, there is not, sorry, not a single family in this world that does not want to be blessed. Everybody wants to be blessed. And everybody, if you look at the world today, they are all rushing, 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 rushing. No time, no time, no time, no time. Make money, make money, make money. And all they do is make money and sleep. Eat and sleep. Then after that, after that, they make money after do, doing that. Then now they have to, oh, burden, 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 burden. School, 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 school. Children, children, children. I got to do this, I got to do that. Oh, their life is a whole rush, rush, rush. Jesus said, be fruitful and multiply, but not rush, rush, rush. Hello? So when you are obedient to Jesus Christ, or to the Lord, that is the Lord, yeah? You will receive breakthroughs so easily. You will know the timing of the Lord on how to receive the blessings of God. In every storms that come, in every uh, persecution or trials that come, or every struggles that come, you will know that there is a way out for you. You will know that God has made a way in the wilderness for you. God is a God that always makes a way. If we would seek Him first. If we would seek Him first, yeah? That's why the Bible says, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and His righteousness. Amen. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord. I want to just share a little bit of all these things today. Um, first of all, we want to go into John chapter 4 first. But He said to them, I have food to eat that you know nothing about. If you look earlier in the, earlier chap uh, in the chapter 4 itself, Jesus talks with a Samaritan woman down there. He says, but Jesus sent his disciples, actually, to go look for food. And he was sitting at the well. And by the time the disciples came back, Jesus said this scripture. But he said to them, I have food to eat that you know nothing about. Amazing. When people make demands in your life, or keep depending on you, you may end up in stress and you may be irritated or tired of all these things. But in Jesus' case, it was not like that. A lot of people were putting demand on Jesus. They needed something from Him. They were all rushing and rushing and rushing to Him. But He was not irritated. He was not frustrated. But He showed love. In fact, he enjoyed it. He took on all those things. And so in this case of a woman here, yeah, 32, yeah? Uh, yeah, correct. Why did Jesus take on this woman? Why did Jesus go into this place? A Samaritan woman, a sinner down there who comes to the well at a certain time where nobody comes out and it's hot at the time also. Normally they do in the early hours or the late hours, not, not, not in the noon time. But also we want to understand, before we go into this one also, in Matthew 20, 28, your Jesus said these words, and these are important words to know. Even as the Son of Man came not to be ministered unto, but to minister and to give His life a ransom for many. Here in the scripture is just saying also, I did not come to be served, but to serve. It's the same thing, yeah? This is in the King James Version, yeah. So, he says that I did not come to be served, but to serve. So, the song I said to you early on, sometimes people are depending, demanding on you, demanding, depending on you, uh, end up you are stressed, you are tired, you are irritable, but in Jesus' case, it's not like that. He is excited when people come to Him. In fact, he draws strength when people come to Him. He's happy. When you come to Him, Jesus is strengthened and refreshed because you came to Him. His food, His food is when you come to Him. He's refreshed when you come to Him. You see, I'm showing a different picture today. 
He is excited when you come to Him. When you come to Jesus, He is refreshed. He is strengthened. Why do I say that? Let's see the scripture again. 32, John 4, 32. But He said to them, I have food to eat that you know nothing about. What food did Jesus eat? If you have read the scripture, if you go home and read, you'll notice that Jesus didn't eat anything. The only thing he did was to talk to the Samaritan woman, to minister to her. And this woman ended up rejoicing because of what? She met the living water. She began to enjoy the water of life that is Jesus. Think about it. Amazing, eh? Jesus said, I came not to, uh, to be served, but to serve. And by him saying to serve is, I came and st uh, he was there at the right time at the well, sitting there waiting for the woman. The woman had a need. Her need is to know Jesus. You have a need. Your need is to know Jesus in the particular area of your life that you are struggling that you can have a breakthrough, a miracle. It does not mean that you need to be saved salvation over and over again, one time salvation. But there are areas in our life that there are trials, there are testing, where we are hungry down there, we are desperate down there, we have lost strength down there. But Jesus is opposite. When people demand on you, you get fed up sometimes, you know. You get stressed up. When the pressure is so much, sometimes you feel like giving up. You sometimes get irritated because of, you know, somebody has been pressurizing you and somebody just came make a wrong word. <laughs> Flashing miracles happen. Lightning bolts begin to come out of your mouth. You know, because you got irritated, not because of that person, but because something happened before. But Jesus, all the more, got excited. You know, the lady was saying, but you Jews worship at the synagogue. We worship God at the mountain. But Jesus didn't even talk about those things. What did Jesus say? Ah, yeah, this one. 423, sorry. My mistake. But the hour comes, and now is. Not next time, but now is. When the true worshiper shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. For the Father seeketh such to worship Him. He means He's saying, you do not need to worship in the temple of synagogue. You do not need to worship in the mountains. But a true worshiper will worship Him in spirit and in truth. In the natural and in the spirit. Now, when Jesus said all this, he did not fight with her. No, 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 but we Jews are the first one. No, 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 we are, no. He did not choose sides, but he brought both sides to realization. When you are in a stressful situation, sometimes it's so hard to receive anything. But Jesus said, come. I'm drawing strength, man. I'm excited because you have a problem that I can make a way out of that. You understand what I'm saying? And that's why Jesus said, My food, you do not know where it came from. My food was their problems. It strengthened me because they have a problem. It's a challenge. I'm refreshed because you know, I can do something to help you. Jesus is there to help you. Jesus wants to help you. What is Jesus' food? That soul that knows Him. That refreshes Him. Don't you feel excited when, when somebody says, ah, wow, you know, quietly, I mean, any man of God or any person, you know, say, wow, thank you, you actually help me. Oh, no, 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 no. We, we try to be humble, you know. No, 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 normal, no. But inside, yeah, a little bit of happiness. <sighs> a little bit of, <sighs> what would that guy do without me, man? Uh, eh? Sometimes we think like that. We all are like that. Anybody like that? Only me.